Hi there, this is Derivatives10, and uh, this one I'm just going to focus on uh, log functions, or uh, logarithms. Logarithms. So, logarithms um, were a topic that you've discussed earlier in your math career, and uh, basically I just want to go over two generic forms that you're going to see and the derivative of them. And that way, we can just memorize those two not feel intimidated by logarithms anymore and I'll run you through a couple examples so let me do this real quick we have d over dx of let's say log a x okay now remember a can be anything when you don't see anything for a you assume it's 10 we have to remember that so 1 over x ln of a Usually this ln of a turns out to be an actual number, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, the next one I want you to memorize is d over dx of the natural log of x. And I told you this one was special, it just turns out to be 1 over x. Very simple, which is nice. So basically, it... it I, I know that it's uh well it's it's not too complex. It's not too complex, but uh you you just need to remember this, I would say, so just memorize it for sure. And that's key. So let's uh, let's hit a couple examples real quick. Uh examples All right here. Um We'll start off with, um, how about just a simple one real quick, I'll put a star for when I'm starting it, f of x is equal to, how about ln of x squared plus 10. Now remember, chain rule, you cannot forget the chain rule, f prime of x will equal then 1 over x, correct, as we saw just above, so 1 over x is actually 1 over the quantity x squared plus 10, because that's our x in this function. So therefore, then we do the chain rule, and we multiply the whole function, the entire function, by the derivative of what was inside those parentheses, so, which is just 2x. So therefore, the solution for us is 2x all over x squared plus 10. Very simple. Now let's punch on through. We could do uh, another one. Let's say f of x is, uh, let's just do one of your other ones, log 2 of 1 minus 3x. Yeah, that's good enough. So, f prime of x equals 1 over, now what is it? You have your x, right? You're, you're following this function up at the top. So, what's your x? Your x is 1 minus 3x, right? So let's put that out there first, just like the function says. Then ln of 2. Realize that ln of 2 is just a number. Then, we can't forget, we have to multiply the whole thing. Chain rule, remember, multiply the whole thing by the derivative of what was inside. So, what is that? negative 3. So your solution is going to be negative 3 all over 1 minus 3x ln of 2. So it's not too intimidating. I mean, I, I thought the, the I thought some of these uh, trig functions are pretty intimidating, but the logarithms weren't too intimidating. And uh, I'll, I'll show you in a in a couple examples on the next video. So I'll see you in the next video.